all the nostalgia and it's only been out for two years already almost two years actually november is gonna mark the, the second year but guys we're back on fallout 4 today and it has been I think since September 26 was the last Fallout 4 video I uploaded. Now, I'm a little guilty. I have been playing Fallout here and there off my channel, so I haven't completely quit it. I just, I love this game too much to just give it up. It's amazing. I actually got it on PC, and I've been playing with PC mods, and there's just so many different mod options for PC. It, it's amazing. I love it. And if these rumors are true about New Vegas 2 coming out, I'm gonna lose my fucking shit. It, just no doubt about it. Guys, I'm sorry, but th if there's any game that I would fangirl over, it would be Fallout. Skyrim, eh, I played Skyrim, you know, it's it's a great game, don't get me wrong, but I prefer the Fallout side, there's, there's Team Skyrim, Team Fallout, I'm a Fallout guy. But anyways, today what we're doing is we're playing Fallout on the PS4 because we haven't touched this in quite a while, and we're gonna take a look at the available mods today, and actually, while this does load up here, I actually did make a list of certain mods that do have some cool features, maybe there's some quests as well in here. We're gonna take a look at all these in order, because I can't fucking remember them all. So I went ahead and installed a few mods. There's the Rodriguez special. The amount of trouble that I had to go through in order to get this game to even work. I had to uninstall and reinstall all the DLC and the base game itself. Because for some reason, my game wouldn't start. When I would load up my character, the game would just be stuck in a constant loading screen, which is pretty weird. But we got that resolved. All the issues are fixed. All the issues are fixed. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So, let's load up our modded character here. I am playing a modified account. It's a Bethesda official modded account. I'm not gonna hack the game by any means. So, it's a Bethesda official modded account. And what that means is basically, if you use mods, official mods from Bethesda on the Bethesda.net website, it will disable trophies. It's fair. You're cheating in the game to make it a little more fun. Maybe you're bored and you did all the missions like me. So, what the f fuck am I using? The first thing coming up, we actually have to go over to Diamond City over here it's arturo's special revolver or special 44 magnum i don't know what this thing does but the only thing that i did read is it has double the damage and you can get it for free or you can buy it from him but we are not going to try to get it for free because that as stated by the mod author is not a good idea so we're gonna buy it so come over here yeah go to arturo I got shot in the ass let's go ahead and talk to him over here and talk about guns or maybe you want to i'll take a look sure everything hand mm -hmm. All right, so we'll go over to weapons, and where is it? Long the Rodriguez Special Pistol. Ooh, look at that. Holy fucking damage. Ooh, 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 ooh. That looks nice. <laughs> That's fucking nice. I like that chrome tint. I wonder where that chrome came from in the game, because we, you can only use in-game asset files. That's cool. What's the damage like on this? 172 base damage. Now let's compare that to a normal 10 millimeter. 28. 28 to 172. How much does a splatter cannon do? This is this is the number one weapon of choice I go with here. So, wow, that's fucking crazy. I don't even know where we would be able to test this. Actually, we're gonna save this and use it later to see just how good it is because I got a special mod for you guys at the end. This one's gonna be interesting. So the next thing coming up here is we actually have a new safe house. If we go over to Fort Hagen, we look over here, we got a new map marker, it's called the Pre-War House. This was never here before. This was created by a mod author. This is a new house, credit to the mod author as always. <laughs> look at that. Oh. I think it's time to put this pistol to the test right now. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, they're only mongrels, so they are pretty weak, but still. Nice. <laughs> this this pistol's fucking great. Why can't I move? Wait. Okay. Okay. So, come up to the front doors here. We need the key. Fire's key the main gate key but where where do you get the oh it's like a mini quest okay so wait do you hold on so maybe you have to break into the back over here yes over here wait what oh shit that brought us to a completely new interior cool No! No! Oh, that is fucking great. Wow. 
there's actual institute power armor. So I don't know if you guys know. I'll give you a, a little spoiler warning here. Uh, turn back now if you haven't beaten this game, but it's been out for two years. So I'm going to assume that you guys did beat this game. Institute, if you destroy them, you don't get their paint scheme for the X01 power armor. This is it right here. And I actually destroyed the Institute. This is my Brotherhood of Steel character right here. This is me. I decided to join the Brotherhood. And, um, yeah, this is the paint job. Fucking sweet. Okay, guys, so with a little searching and uh, help from YouTube, um, I found the key. And it's over here. It's just at a bus station across from the house over here. There's a dead body and front door key, main gate key. Nice. Ar Artyom's hazmat suit. Yeah, let's take it. Sorry, buddy. Snub nose pistol. What can. Is there anything in the briefcase? No, there is not. The paint. Wow, that guy had a lot of shit on him. Wait, what is this? Victor's supply bag. So, what, what, what's what been, what's going on at this house? You go over to the front, open the gate, open the gate. Go in, we're good. Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. What? How do you do this with such limitations to the, this is really fucking cool. This really gives me the feel of, okay, if you stand right here, this, it, it really feels like CJ's house from San Andreas. I know it's not completely correct. The stairs were in a completely different location, but the front door should be right where that curtain is. I, I'll try to throw a side comparison. It gives me that feel of his house. It looks like there's a new mod. New mod for a gun sneaking around here. Restore desk fan. So we should be looking for a piece of marble in here. Marble? Ah! marble 44 magnum a marble grip can i apply that to arturo's gun now if i can do that that would be a fucking astonishing i'll tell you right now so there has to be a workbench in the garage that we can create this at then i'm pretty sure marble we found it cool but what can we craft with this though is there a crafting bench anywhere that we can try this on arturo's custom 44 grip. Ooh, we can build it nice rodriguez special grip so you do a fancy white marble gripped, improved accuracy. <laughs> that is so fucking cool. How is that even possible? That that looks like a just pure ranger revolver right there. I like that. That is so fucking great. Guys, I think we're ready to do this mission now, however, though, with this fucking gun, we're we're fucking ready. So the quarry is here. This guy should be Survivor. Is that him? Think that's our guy. Yup. Think this is our guy right here. Excuse me. Those damn scientists, they were toying with something they should never have. Take it easy, it's gonna be alright, just tell me what happened. Those damn scientists were messing with the death claws, running experiments on them, not sure to what end. Cough. I told them. I told them. A death claw was not something to mess with. Anyone alive? Did anyone get out? I'm very doubtful. Pretty sure I'm the only survivor and I can tell my time is up. If you go there, cough. Kill that thing. First, go to the Haley facility just up the road past the church to the west. Kill it for us, so this creation doesn't keep on killing. So it doesn't really give us any markers on what to do. So I did have to search this up a little bit, just to get a little insight on what's going on, because I really was confused. It's an unmarked quest. I thought it was a little bugged. It is not. Once we're here, this is the building we're gonna have to go into. This is the facility where the Death Claw was being experimented on. This... Huh? Oh, wow. Oh shit, they're testing on the death claw. Holy shit, that's a detail. Wow, that's pretty fucking detailed for a flashback and everything. Please don't speak. I must share with you what has happened. I placed a note by the Cambridge police station front door. You must return defeat this beast and good luck. By the Cambridge police station front door. You must return defeat this boss and good luck. Is that in the right order? You must defeat this boss and then return. I don't know. We're just going to go to the Cambridge police station because that's where she told us to go. So, fast travel. What kind of fight are we in for here? We're here. What? What the fuck? What the fuck? That thing is fucking huge. Don't tell me this thing runs that way. Legendary Gojira. 
go 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 here. I don't know how to say that. Pardon me if I said that completely wrong. <laughs> They're fighting. He's fucking throwing people. Holy shit! No, I think I gotta use the splatter cannon for this. Yeah, no, we we gotta use the splatter cannon. There, there's no way we're not using this. But wait, 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 wait. No, no, we gotta switch to the institute rifle. Die, Gojira, die! Got him. Got him. He's down. That's it. It's over. So, can we loot the... Ash pile? No. No, there isn't anything else to the quest. So guys, that was pretty much it. That was the quest. Meet the scientists and they tell you about an experiment that went wrong and that giant death clock comes after you. But there's not really much you can do on the PS4. So I would assume that's where the quest ends. But uh, yeah, guys, this has been Fallout 4. Extra long video today. I hope you guys enjoy because I know I haven't uploaded Fallout 4 in quite some time. So that's why I decided to make this video a little longer, showcasing some mods for the PS4. If you enjoyed this video, I'm happy. And if you want to see more Fallout 4, leave it in the comments below. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.